Hello beautiful Scorpios. We're here with a love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Venus, let's take a look and see what your recent past energy was for love. This Sun card, Scorpio, the happiest card in the deck. What are you up to? Uh, that's joyful Leo energy very much. Very powerful energy. You're looking at things from a higher perspective, but you've had some good fun of late. So that's really great to see in your reading. <laughs> so happy to see that sun card for you. Right now, Scorpio, look at you. You're having a reunion in the near future. Or at this time recently, you've had a reunion. The Six of Cups energy with someone from the past. My God, Scorpio. You have the Magician card. When you're looking and viewing your life right now in love, it feels magical. You're manifesting something truly beautiful, truly lovely, truly happy. How you're seeing the world right now in love is to be with the high eyes of the high priestess. You're in this very strong energy of just staying very quiet, keeping to yourself, not really talking about the relationship, not really having setting up any expectations. You're following your intuition. You're very, very cal calm, cool, and collected emotionally. You know, we know that you're very emotional because you're a water sign. <clears throat> Let's look and see what your love interests, their heart space. Oh, look at this. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups energy is when there's a beautiful feminine flow of energy back and forth uh, with another person. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with another Scorpio, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Cancerian Pisces slash Pisces, or a Cancerian. The way you see the future moving forward is the Two of Swords. You're really just going to let things unfold. I love this beautiful Two of Swords. It's the best one I've ever seen. And the reason is, is that you're not ignoring anything. You can see underneath that little bird uh, house that you have on top of your head. So you're in a state of peacefulness, bliss. You're enjoying your life. You're just allowing nature and love to unfold quite naturally around you. Two of Swords can mean not speaking to somebody for a while, but it looks as though you're in a very calm state. What is hidden? in your energy is you want you're showing off you're looking good you're strutting your stuff <laughs> the knight of wands energy really beautifully dressed like an equestrian leaping through a flame of fire you are all about having fun joyfulness being playful you're really on just that's all about life right now you're just very lighthearted. you're in a very sort of uplifted energy not taking anything too seriously and living in the moment spirit is saying that you are spirits recommending you <laughs> to you so the scorpio king we have the energy of somebody who's very much in control of their emotions somebody who can handle them but what I do see when you look at the Scorpio King, because Scorpio is so intense, you can see that the ship is sailing easily on top of the water. But deep in the belly of Scorpio, there's always something churning around because you're super hyper. You're super aware. You, you always know what's going on. It's that intuitive self. And we see a shark in the belly of this King of Cups. So what we're seeing here is that Spirit is advising right now that this is a very good energy to have. You know, don't talk too much. Just, you know, show people what you feel and stay very, very calm. All right. Your outcome card. Ooh, very strategic. The King of Swords energy. You're staying cool, calm, detached. Aquarius energy. You're, you want the win. You are strategizing for the win because we can see this is a samurai warrior. This is a soldier who is ready for <clears throat> the battle and looking at things from a much higher perspective. Do you notice this? The sun card, she has a bird, higher perspective. And now we have 
the the cross reference leo is opposing aquarius on the wheel of your love house right now and that is a very strong seventh house energy so it's a really beautiful you're strategizing how to have happiness and how to have love but in the meantime you're having it because you have this beautiful energy here of a love mate a love partner who is falling in love with you scorpio scorpio i like this reading for you so let's go ahead and get the clarifier and see what's going on. But you're having a playful time. You're just, you're very watchful, but you're being very, very almost covert about watching things. Your person doesn't say as much to you as you would like, but you feel it's very nice, benign energy. It's always interesting when people say, well, when will this person tell me that they love me? And uh, as a professional psychic and tarot reader, astrologer, I always ask, well, you know, how long have you been dating? Because it doesn't look like very long in the reading. And they'll go, oh, four months. And what I'm seeing is that it for you, for you right now, you're not feeling that kind of energy. Your energy is very powerful. You know, true love takes time to happen and it takes time over time. We can fall in lust, but... It really looks like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Look at this. I was shuffling the deck and this literally, I looked down and the sun card is there. Isn't that crazy? So the sun card is clarifying the sun card for you, Scorpio. I don't know what, where have you been? Have you been on vacation? Tell me in the comments. A double sun card is an exceptional, uh, not a coincidence. The world card, you think your person and you think the world of each other. You're in this absolutely gorgeous energy of the Six of Cups. So it looks as though right now you actually may be with somebody as we speak as I'm doing the reading. So it really speaks to the fact that you are closing out an old cycle of being apart. So you're coming together, you're having a reunion, and that is going to set you on your new path with this person. The Knight of Swords energy, your person wants to come in. They're rushing in to tell you that they feel that the two of you have a very mystical, magical connection, that it's delightful, that it's fun, that it's very, very special, Scorpio. So when we have that energy, your person really wanting to speak their truth um, about how special this connection is, is a very good omen. All right, so you're being quiet. I like this energy for you. The High Priestess, you are Scorpio, so this can, I think of it as Cancer, but some think of it as Pisces. But at any rate, we see two ships, very watery, keeping that ship level. You're doing it here. But let's see what the High Priestess, why is the High Priestess here for you? Well, in the past, when you used your intuition, it wasn't always correct. And so you're up in your head a little bit here. You are worried. You're stressed out. You're losing sleep because you want this very, very much. We also get the two of coins. So what we see is that your person loves you, cares about you, but there is the sense that they haven't made a decision yet. They're juggling two coins, which means that they could be juggling two ideas, two people, two... You know, to, to me, it's very much in a love reading that this person's not dating you exclusively. The Five of Swords card says that your person of interest here, and you're not really speaking to them a lot. And uh, it looks like they're feeling this strong energy that they may have taken a misstep with you. The Five of Swords, that, that in some way, they may have led you to believe that you know, the relationship might be further along than it is. But here's the, here's the thing. They're not really telling you anything. I don't really like this. These two energies together in this position are almost like, well, we're just not going to talk about the future. And, you know, when we get that two of coins and this person is very much feeling in their heart space that they care very deeply about you, 
you know, that gets a little bit wonky, right? That's just not a good combination of energies. So it, you know, we'll clarify and see more about this person because there must be a backstory here. I'm feeling very much that when you met them, they, they look like they're on the rebound, possibly. Because if you're, if you're juggling, and this person may be on the rebound, and juggling their love that's developing for you as well as another, then that would leave you feeling very sad, very sort of put out, sort of like, aren't I special enough? Aren't I worthy? And I know that you don't really ask the question, am I worthy? But it's that, it's almost, it's a very gnawing feeling that does not feel good, that Five of Swords. That is um, an uncool energy because it really speaks to the fact that people get hurt for no reason. Six of Swords. So you're feeling very much right now that this was a fling and not the real thing. And what you don't see and what you don't know, I feel, is that this person is not telling you that they love you or that they like you or that this can actually be something. I feel as though they've got you in this sort of player mode and you really want to move away from that. You know, your son, your happiness comes from the magic, from the magic of manifesting a relationship. We're going to dig into your person, not dig in, we're going to dig into the cards to see more about why your person is in this sort of off-kilter energy. Okay. Spirit is recommending the Scorpio King maintain a very, very quiet veneer for what's going on. Don't talk about your feelings. So, but it does appear to you, you feel like your person is a lightweight. You feel as though they're the Page of Cups, you're the Scorpio King. When pigs fly, this person will come through for you. So as the reading goes on here, you know, you're getting into a, you're cooling down or dialing back your emotions on the situation. Why do we have the King of Swords in this position of your outcome right now? Justice card. This person is trying to stay balanced. You're trying to stay balanced too. You're looking at things again, higher perspective, very calm, cool, collected. There's a lot of, there's a lot of connection, you guys. You know that though. And here we go. So both of you are in this energy of um, the emperor energy. I feel as though you're very much equal to each other that you're both very, very attractive in the single world, that both of you have many options. The emperor has their choice from the kingdom, right? Who's going to marry the king of the kings? And this is the energy for both of you. And it's Aries energy. So it shows Scorpio that you are moving ahead. You are not going to stay stuck in this situation. Even though you know this person is feeling this queen of cups energy, you're going to strategically, I feel, also go ahead and date two people and just keep it to yourself and not talk about your love life among friends that may know both of you. I don't feel like this is an online dating situation, but it always can be. All right, so let's go around again and look at more clarifiers here for your person. Why do we have a look at this? Okay, that flipped over again. So I wanted to clarify the two of coins. So your person actually that you're dating cares about you very deeply, but they also are still in love with somebody else. Somebody else that ditched them, that turned their life upside down. And this person is still, I wouldn't say stalking them, but the seven of swords, they're still dealing with something that happened in their love life that is haunting them. This is a person they thought they would marry. Okay. Scorpio, the death is on that. The good news is, is that is over. And this person knows it. And so they have put themselves under house arrest. So they don't contact this other person. But that's what I'm getting is that they came in with player energy. Even though the two of you have an amazing connection. It doesn't look like they're really um, acting on it. Why is the, the Knight of Wands here? Somebody young, throwing caution to the winds. And why are you so sad about this that you have to heal? It's, you are healing. 
Five of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is that you really feel Scorpio. And Scorpio, you guys have had, I think, a rough go of it for a long time. You're really tired based on the astrology, based on the past couple of years. You feel as though you're always part of a group of people that are competing for someone's attention. And you're really getting over it. You know, you're in this energy of saying, you know what, if you can't see how special I am, I'm just going to move forward without you. You know, you're you're strategizing how you feel about being put in this energy, Scorpio. Let's see what we have here for the Page of Cups and how you're, you feel about this person being immature, the Magician card. You feel as though you know they have feelings, the magician, the magician. You know that you are manifesting them, they are manifesting you. But you feel as though both of you, this person that you're dealing with seems to be like, la, 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 I'm just having fun over here. Don't take anything seriously. And yet there's this connection that they're not acknowledging. Your person is not acknowledging that they are falling in love with you. Or that they have already fallen in love with you. They're, they're just not acknowledging it. All of this self-imposed restriction. The death card. Well, a death card's good because it allows for a rebirth. But the eight of swords energy, the two of swords, the seven of swords. This person's not really being very honest with themselves. Eight of Wands energy, good, yay, okay. So Scorpio, what I'm seeing for you right now is that you're in this gorgeous energy. Look at your outcome is very favorable. You know, you have wonderful cards. I mean, two major arcana and the Eight of Wands. So the two of you are going to continuously have your passion, enjoy yourselves, you're moving strategically. The Justice card, though, that Libra energy, you may end up together. You're, it, just stay balanced. Be strategic because this is a powerhouse relationship. Your person doesn't really see it as well as you do. They don't really understand the beauty of your relationship at the level that you do but you are in it to win it and you are staying cool calm and collected very balanced let's see what your ancestors have to say for you scorpio you feel that there's a win in this situation i like it okay so let's see what are, do the ancestors have to say to our scorpio friends be the light okay you know when this person I think this person doesn't talk about the other person directly, but I think they talk about the situation. And, you know, use your wisdom. Just be a sage at this time. Don't take it personally. And move in a new direction. Okay. So Spirit is really saying to you that you need to be strategic. You need to go ahead and date other people also. You know, go ahead very passionately with your life, but move in another direction because Spirit feels as though this might not really be a good investment, but you already are. You know, you're over here. You've, you're throwing caution to the winds. You're having a playful time of it yourself. You know, that was your energy also. And the earth spirit is telling you love, 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 whatever you do, love. And that doesn't necessarily mean commitment, but you're free to love. You know, you can enjoy that moment and love every minute of it. Look at that. And, and we see raven spirit, love and just be truly honest with yourself. So Scorpio, that's a reading I have for you this week. It's been a joy. Thank you for allowing me to present this to you. Bye-bye.